This video here, this one, and this one, are generated with artificial intelligence. Let me explain you. To do so, let's go to the beginning of 2021. OpenAI planted a seed with the release of its DALI system, an artificial intelligence proposal, where they showed how it was that using text, they were able to generate any image that we want. The quality was not spectacular. Pretty much experimental, actually. But it was better than anything we'd seen to before. During 2021, these models were refined and improved, all thanks to the arrival of the famous stable diffusion models that OpenAI used to improve its technology. A year later, in April 2022, the second version of this system appears. DALI 2, improving on all of the above in resolution, artistic capacity and versatility to be able to make in paintings that were coherent with any image. A proposal that surpassed everything that existed before and for me, this was one of the first times that we were able to verify that artificial intelligence really was that revolutionary disruptive technology, and that such is the impact of what Dolly generates that from that time the times are have shortened, and we went from seeing impressive progress every year to seeing how the artificial intelligence is reaching milestones every month. In May 2022, one month later, Google presented Image, then in June Google again presented Party, and by August, Rumors were already beginning to be heard that there was an online community that was coordinating to train a kind of Dolly 2, but that in this case it was going to be free and open source. A system that would be called something like Stable Diffusion. And here from this channel, I had already warned you that this was going to be bigger than we thought, because accessing the model for free is not the only advantage of this being open source, no. Here we have, for example, entire units working to integrate stable diffusion with other tools such as Photoshop or Blender. Artists freely creating new forms of expression that do not have any type of censorship. Scientists and enthusiasts being able to fully gut this technology and building on it to better understand how it works. Well, the whole community is working at a much faster pace than any company could do with all their huge budgets. You don't believe me? Well, look at this example here. In August 2021, the following Google paper came out that presented a technique called Dream, which allowed it to be a retraining of these image-generating models in order to teach them new concepts. If I wanted to generate images with my puppy, well look, I just take a few photos of the puppy, and I taught that concept to the artificial intelligence. From this moment on, you could create a puppy in the Acropolis, or swimming, or receiving a haircut. Absolute freedom to create infinite images. What happens is that this is just a paper a recipe of how they have done it. But the code that would allow us to execute all this in our systems is not there. But what happened? Well, the community was interested in this paper. And in a matter of two weeks, they already had an implementation on stable diffusion created for the public. Not even a month passed since the Google article came out and the community already offer a tool that we could all use. And the headline is the following. We are entering an unprecedented phase of technological transformation where achievements are no longer fulfilled every year or month by month. No, here progress is already being made week after week, and even in some cases day by day. What you're going to see now, friends, is all that the world of creation with artificial intelligence has advanced in a single month. Let's start with Dolly 2. To begin with, you have to know that this tool is no longer in private beta. Now anyone can register and start creating images in seconds. This is not the only novelty in Dolly 2, and it is that now they have once again allowed the ability to upload images with the faces of real people, something that had previously been prohibited for security reasons, but that was limited by the truth. This tool, in one of its most interesting features since, I think it is super powerful to be able to upload your images and in a matter of minutes with the inventing function to be able to do things like this. In addition, it has also improved its interface to be able to create out paintings, now allowing us to upload images to an infinite canvas, and for example, be able to fill the space between them or generate images with resolutions greater than 2024 by 2024 pixels, something that is super useful to be able to create much more advanced assemblies or huge murals. But be careful. Do not forget that every time you generate a piece of image, here you will be paying $0.13. Then, regarding the in-paintings and out-paintings, this is also a new functionality that they have added to the stable diffusion web tool that you already know is Dream Studio. Although for now, we must admit that the quality that he achieves in stable diffusion for in paintings is not as good as what Dolly can offer us, but it is an advantage. It has this body fusion over daily and it's two image to image conversions. That is to say, 
use a reference image as initialization that combined with the text we enter as input, since it already gives you absolute control of what you want to generate. During the month of September, the internet has not stopped being filled with spectacular results, where any composition made with a few lines of paint instantly turn into spectacular images of great visual quality. In fact, it is with this image your image idea that some people have combined stable diffusion with 3D engines such as Blender to use artificial intelligence as a kind of final renderer that will apply the style that you have written on the 3D animation of the program. For example, you want this animated character in Picasso's style because you write it and you have it. And with this, we would already have a lot of tools for our head is already bubbling with a lot of ideas and opportunities to be able to get the most out of all this. But wait a minute, don't worry. Yes, I have already told you that this month has been quite intense and this has only just begun. And it is that what Dolly 2 achieved already at the beginning of 2021 seemed to me something that I did not think we would see for quite some time. When I already assumed that we were at this point of maturity where technology could be at this level. And suddenly the AI surprised me again by showing me something that I didn't think we would see for a long time. Indeed, I am talking about the video generation. And note that this is not an isolated thing because not one or two but three different models have come out that far exceed anything we had up to now in video generation. The first model that came out was the Meta Make to Video. And well basically this is what you describe, because the model generates it for you with truly impressive results. A teddy bear painting a self-portrait here you have it. A robot dancing in the middle of Times Square or close-ups of a brush moving on a canvas or a cat watching television with the remote in its hand. In the... What is that? Well, as you can see, the results are not perfect, and I think that one day we will look back and see this type of failure that occurred at this time. Well, with a certain nostalgia. Meanwhile, here we are in 2023, in a world that now admits that we can ask an artificial intelligence to generate nine video clips of two kangaroos hastily preparing dinner in seconds. It can not only generate a video from text, but also generate a video from an image given as input that brings it to life in the form of video or being able to generate alternative versions. This is a whole revolution that has only just begun. And as I said, it is not the only one that has achieved impressive results. The same day the people from Google Brain published Fanaki, that is also capable of doing the same, generating video from text. And my critical eye makes me say that the quality is perhaps not as polished as in the previous work, but as an advantage, it should be noted that this project has the ability to generate longer videos of two minutes. And these would be impressive, but because a week later arrives at Google with another generation project video, and raises the bar again just like it did at the beginning of the year, competing against Dolly with his image system, well now he presents us with an image video, which is to date the most powerful video generator ever created. Look at these results here. We have a teddy bear fleeing through New York, or a teddy bear washing the dishes, or for example a video of a drone flying over a battle of pirate ships a panda driving a car, an astronaut riding a horse, a cup of coffee that fills up, or an elephant underwater with a birthday hat. Eye is not perfect either. A look for example in this case the dance of legs that the elephant has. But still, it's impressive. It is to think from May 2022 when the image came out until 2023 that we have gone from this to this. Can't you feel things are speeding up? It is that if artificial intelligence has been able to generate images sooner than we expected, and once there it has also been able to generate video sooner than we expected, it would not be unthinkable to think that at some point it will also be capable of generating models three-dimensional instantly, which is also capable of generating 3D models. Now let's talk about what has impressed me the most. I present to you Dream Fusion. Dream Fusion is an artificial intelligence that is capable of generating any 3D model you ask for context a squirrel. A squirrel in a kimono makes you a squirrel in a kimono playing the saxophone, or he does it for you, or for example, two parrots playing chess or a lion reading the newspaper, a shrimp playing the saxophone on an origami motorbike or an old car where vegetation is grown. All these models were created automatically after typing with text. This work is impressive and I admit that it is the one that has caught me the most off guard because not long ago they asked me how long it would take to see a system that you could type whatever you wanted and it will generate the mesh in 3D and I said that it was still missing because not we had as much data as images or videos or even music to be able to train a system of this type. Well do you want to know how many 3D models have been used to train a system like Dream Fusion third party? 0.obj files and this is what really impresses me. 
how they have managed to enable artificial intelligence to master a task other than generating 3D images by training it with two-dimensional image generating systems. They have combined these systems with Nerf technology to be a kind of strategy in which we are going to ask artificial intelligence to little by little model this three-dimensional object with the textures appropriate to generate an image, a perspective, which combined with these vision models generate an image that resembles what we have put as text. At this point, we are in a period where things have been accelerating and where week after week we have seen how video generation, 3D generation, audio generation have been resolved. We have also, I have seen some audio text project where you can write because I want the noise of the birds to be heard and it generates that sound at the same time. Animation text models also appear where you can write how you want the animation to be to execute a 3D model determined. While on the other hand, we see that Nerf also continues to advance and improve a veritable explosion of creative tools. I want you to use this video to warn of what is happening at the point where we are, and I think that we should all put ourselves on the stage where we assume that artificial intelligence is going to be capable of creating any digital content that we can imagine. I see that we are at a key point where the first to start working with these tools, to play with them, and to experiment and create new things will have a competitive advantage that the rest of the people are unaware of.